And then the next right is the right of the relatives, even if they are kuffar. A person has to keep their connection and their relationships with his two parents. And also keeping the ties of kinship, i.e. with the relatives. And if a person says that how can I keep the ties of kinship with my relatives and I am living in Britain and they are in Morocco, I'm not able to do so. And we reply that whatever you are able to do so, you have to do and fulfill. Some people, they don't even have, they don't even have the contact number for his, for, the, for his uncle. So what should you do? You know that when Eid comes, for example, and how your family works and how Islam works, that you have to ring your relatives. And this doesn't mean that you send a, or you broadcast a group message to them like you would broadcast to any, everybody else. Rather, you physically reach out to them and connect with them and you ring them. And also when you speak to your mother, perhaps you speak to every two or three days, or every week at the, at the worst case scenario. When you speak to your mother, you say, if you speak to my uncles or my aunties, then convey my salam to them. And then your mother, when she speaks to her brothers and sisters, and she says, my son sends his salam to you, and they reply, how good of a son this, this son is, how, obedi how, how obedient your son is. And is this something which is difficult? And also, if somebody gets married amongst your relatives, or somebody dies amongst your relatives, you ring them, you connect with them. If it's a marriage, you give them a congratulations. If it's a death, you give them condolences.